Welcome back to Pirate Studios. Today we're checking out the updated version of Bulldog. The Bulldog by Audio Assault. This is my favorite one that Audio Assault has put out. Well, it's right up there with Demos. <laughs> but this was my first favorite. Um, and now it is integrated into Amp Locker. So they just had a new update. And if you've previously bought Bulldog, all you have to do is put your email in and activate it on online and it'll automatically boop, update. Um, that's what I did. And so this is a first look at uh, the new update of Amp Locker with Bulldog. And we're gonna check out, see what it sounds like and just kind of tweak some stuff. And uh, hopefully this won't be super boring and it won't be super long. Um, so, yeah, let's get into it. So, and let's not destroy my microphone above me. <laughs> so, okay, so I have kept the original standalone, well, the original version of Bulldog before Amp Locker. And I also kept all the impulse responses. So, first we're going to check it out and see how it sounds like with the original Bulldog 412. This is what it is default settings on the EQ and stuff and uh, I will tweak it. So this is default with the original Bulldog cab. Too flubby and not distorted enough for me. So high gain let's turn this gain up i don't know which one of these is okay this says lead All right, edge boost I'm getting some kind of, uh, I'm going to have to really crank the presence maybe and um, be sure to check your effects here and I've got the gate off because I don't really need it. If you use denoiser, you don't really need it. That, that noise is this guitar is going straight into the interface, so that noise is from the interface. All right, I've got a little bit of um, muddiness here. I'm going to try to get rid of that. See, like I said, there's the Bulldog 412. So let's see if we can get some, rid of some more of that muddiness. <laughs> What I did before um, with my pre with the previous thing of amp blockers, I added a screamer. So maybe that's what we need to do here. Mm -hmm. 
Let's not play too much of that or get the video freaking demonetized, even though I'm not monetized anyway. All right, let's check out another cat. That sounded good. Okay, so I've got another preset. Well, I, I've got a preset, but I didn't really do anything to, to the, um, didn't really do anything to the EQ when I did the preset. So we're going to, um, Let's, this is the folder for the original Bulldog, so um, and it came with all these different kinds, but we're going to focus on the HTVs and the VTHs. I'm pretty sure that that is all the same, so it's the they just flip the letters around, so this is dark. U UK V30. <laughs> Remember, I'm keeping the EQ and the and the gain about the same, so. Not about the same, completely the same. I'm just flipping through the cabs. So let's say you don't have the old one, um, and you let's so let's check out um, the updated version of the matching cabs. So those are HVT. I'm pretty sure that's a HVT pack. And if we want to make sure, I want to make sure here. Go to amp locker data and IRs. Nope, that's the default IRs cabs and hvt fat 412 is the latest version of the of the cab of the cabs so and they are 3d cabs as you can see right here so um we'll just start right here <laughs> changing the microphones automatically. No, it's not. All right, 
So let's come through some more. UK V30. <laughs> Okay. Uh, and here's the another UK. Oh, that angle. That must be the angled cab, and then this one's not. <laughs> Yeah. So let's check out some other IRs before we go. So that those that's you can buy that pack, the HVT pack. That's separate. That doesn't come with with the head. So it just it just comes with the head and uh you tweak it the way you want. And uh so let's just try some other random IR impulse responses and see see what we got. See what we can get out of out of it. Um IR loader factory. Let's check out Glenn Frickers. This one's free. Let's check out Glenn Frickers Watchtower IR. <laughs> good i'll leave the i'll leave the link for that in the description if you want to grab that one i don't want the ir loader there we go um this one's not free but it's pretty awesome this is a mick thompson signature ml sound lab <laughs> See, I'm, I'm in, in my opinion, this is just an opinion, but, um, I feel like there's a lot of just kind of a muffled, not, not a lot of body sound here. So you really got to find the right impulse response. Low tuned. Um, this is over loud. Um, I think over loud. I think that's what. Yeah, so let's check this one out. That sounds pretty good. Um, so yeah, uh, let's try another one. I'm just random. I'm literally just trying some random different ones to see what sounds good. Um, rainbows and chainsaws, Bugger and Digital. Um, Christian Cole, chainsaw. You can't go wrong with a chainsaw sound. Chainsaw bliss. No, I don't like it. It's too thin. Immediately, it's just, it's just too thin. Dark ribbon doom. If it says doom, then I like it probably. <laughs> Throaty Savage. Okay. Sludge Tunnel. That's pretty good. All right, let's uh, check out some other stuff. Let's check out some more actual audio assault um, impulse responses. 
we're going to go here and we're going to put 412. Britone, that is a British, it's just a Marshall. Citrus, orange. I don't know what this is. This is a DV-77, though. That was okay. A little thin for my taste. Diesel, Friedman, Bogner Cab. That's a Halloween Halloween pack. Let's try a good old Mesa V30. I don't hear much of a difference. Traditional Dime Stein, Texas. <laughs> Still don't hear much of a difference. It's just still kind of thin and here's a Jaguar. Where'd it go? There it is. That's cool. That's the original Randall Randall speakers. <laughs> Yeah, see, the, it's not really a big, they're, they're kind of thin sounding. This is just kind of a, this isn't, this isn't uh, sponsored or anything. I just love this company. Let's see if we can add some um, resonance. That's a lot better. Let's go back to the cabs. This is another pack, low massive, low and massive cab pack by Audio Assault. Ooh, that sounds pretty good. Okay. I. That's really similar sounding. I'm going to save that and do an actual comparison. That's really similar sounding to um, my my EVH and that cab, which is really cool. Um, so let's save Bulldog. Bulldog. EVH sounding. That sounds pretty cool. That is awesome that that sounds so close. I wonder if that's an orange cab. Badass. Okay, that's cool. So there you go. That's the new um, Bulldog amp. It's pretty awesome. I'm glad that it's back and I'm updated with Amp Locker. Um, by the way, if you didn't already know, you can if you've made it this far in the video, I really appreciate you sticking around. You can get Amp Locker for free, and it comes with um, one free amp, several I impulse responses IRs, 
several um overdrive like an overdrive pedal and a chorus and it's got reverb it's got after eq and um it's even got midi controls which that's just another video you could run midi controls and run this on a laptop i've previously done that with um i've done that with some other um audio assault stuff ran it on a laptop and just played through through my laptop if you wanted to do that on stage and then it's got um it's got some some after effects too so i mean you're getting a lot for free this is a whole pl a whole suit and i'm really excited to, for the future of audio assault they've been around for a little while and they just keep getting better and better over time and it's great um i hope you support them and i hope you support this channel by sharing any of my videos that would be a big help that's the biggest help you can do so um i really appreciate it and uh, we'll see you next time